Hello creative designers and welcome on to this tutorial. My name is Peter and on to this tutorial we're just going to see how we can easily add a WooCommerce one click checkout without using a plugin. We are going to use a PHP code. I have just I have the code here and they if there is need of the CSS, I'm just I also have provided the CSS for this tutorial. In this tutorial, this is what we're going to do. We're even going to change from add to cart and you are going to have a buy now button and one customer need to click on like for this product let's say he want these two product or you just need this to click buy now and he'll be directed to the checkout page and whatever the customer need to do is to press the order to fill in the billing detail and the delivery details and press the order we're also going to change uh, for the single product I will show you this is a variable product but when you just click on it you'll be directed to the product you just have to select uh, the grammage you increase the product uh, the, the weight of the piece that you want and the customer just click buy now and will be directed to the checkout page that's the tutorial for today the other thing we're just going to depending on the theme you're using for now I'm using kids theme I'm also going to show you how we can had the view cut using the CSS depending on the theme you're using I'm also going to show you how that's the tutorial for today on the thing we need to do we just need to go to the dashboard and on the dashboard menu scroll to where you have the plugin we only need a one single plugin it's a free one that will help us to add the code so select the add new button and you'll be directed to this plugin repository uh, library a uh, new search for code snippet it's a free plugin here you have it it's called uh, code snippet is uh, from code snippet pro you can see it has more than 400,000 active installation last updated two months ago we installed the plugin after successful installation we activate the plugin after successful activation of the plugin you see we have now the snippet here the snippet plugin is now active you can add for snippet from here or else you can come to the dashboard menu scroll to here we have the snippet and select add new here is where you're going to add our code the first thing we need to do is we name our code and say we call it woocommerce one click checkout here you have it and all you need to do is you paste the code here so just come to this use the link on the description copy all the link here copy it to find just click copy and you come here and paste just like that and like that we have just done some few things so we save the changes here and we can just proceed and open it in a new tab here and you can come to the shop and you can see we have even changed even the button which we are buying now uh, add to cart and you can see we have now buy now and we just open up for the one product here you see we have buy now button here already added so what is that what are these few things you can just customize here for you to have uh, let me let's say you just don't want to have buy now here or by now to the shop page all you just need to do is you come here and change uh, we have uh, you just remove these two text here you just remove those two paragraph like that and you just save the changes you refresh here and you'll be able to see now you have the add to cart and you can come back here and you see now we still even have the select option and we have the add to cart button so whenever someone add to cart you'll be directed to the checkout page uh, to the checkout page and all the thing customer need to do is fill in the detail that how you can uh, be able to add when you come here you see we have this view view cut button i'll show you how to do it let's see now let's get back to this code here and we see that we want to have let's say we want to have the add to cart maybe let's get back to the shop and you see that you want to have a buy now button 
on this you want to have the buy now button on the shop page and on the product you have uh add to cut here so all you just need to do i'll just need to paste this code again and show you how you just simple code you can you can copy uh, so i just paste it and just paste here and you see here i have added some comment that says edit uh edit a default to cut text for single product and for the archive production uh, archives pro, uh, correction this is a single product and archive cor uh, correction is where you have maybe your shop page or wherever you have the archive for the product that what it mean i have added so all you just need if you don't want to have a buy now for the single product all you just need to do is delete this code in here and you see the changes here and you refresh your your page and see that we have a buy now here but when you just open here you have these two uh, to cut that how it can be added so let me just turn back here and i want to have my code back so let me the other thing is that let me just get back and i paste my code back so i save it like that with cadence theme the one i'm using you can see you have this uh, add to cut yeah the way they, they just the simple way you can just develop your own css and you can use it but i have provided it in the post here all you just need to do is just copy here but i'm just going to show you how you can get it so all you just need to do is light left click your mouse and select inspect or you can control i can click control shift and i so what you need to do is click on this uh select element icon it all depends on the, the browser you're using you can find it here so one click on it you can be able to select a one single uh single uh, single element let me select i want to hide this add to cut you can on click on it you see we have it here here we have it and all you just need to do is click here and you can add you can say display display none and with that you have hidden it and all you just need to do is come here and copy the code i copy here and i come back and i go to the dashboard menu and scroll to where you have the customize and it's just that once i have it here and i refresh you can see we it is going to come back because we haven't added the css so all we need to do is we go to customize and select additional css we open it here so let me let me get it here so we get it here let me just open here and i need to remove this css here this was uh, an import uh, an imported demo so i need to paste my css code and i can add a comment and say uh hide view cut or you add a comment because we may have so many css and with that that we have hidden it well you see now it's working and we have hidden the view card with a css and the next thing you need to do is you publish and the next when you just go back to your shop let me close here and i go back and i refresh here and see if it worked for us so we click here and you see we don't have the view card there so select the shop and the customer when uh so with that now whenever customer had a product too the, the cart like when you add maybe let me see i want to buy these and i want to have three pieces and i add them to cart or well, when i just use this one i'll have this checkout button and what i need to do or the customer need to do just click that and be directed to the bidding 
uh, the billing, uh, the billing, uh, the checkout page where your customer need to just fill in the billing detail. For this, for this one click checkout, who work most on uh, those digital downloads of the product that only need, don't need uh, so much. Uh, or those products you just want to sell as a standalone product or those products you want to sell individually, you can have this one checkout button. That's the tutorial for today. I hope the tutorial was all good for you. Remember, you find the link on the description. Remember to hit the like uh, the like button for this tutorial and subscribe to, the, to this YouTube channel. We, are, we, deal much, we deal with much tutorial related to WordPress. Until next time, Thank you.